the nim. Another edition of Red Vision TV with your big homie Jazzy Red. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. Enjoy the ride. 30 minutes of fun for everyone. As I always say now, this is a very special show to me because on the show, first of all, it's going to be a very funny show. And on the show, we have the king of comedy himself, comedian extraordinaire Mr. D.L. Hughley will be on the show. Oh, also, the queen of comedy, Miss Samore, will be on the show too. As well as my man, this is a, um, a, a brilliant up-and-coming comedy. Comic man, he's been putting it down for a long time in the game, hosting comic view and everything under the sun. It's my man, you know what it is, Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce will be on the show. Also with funny man, Mr. Damon Williams. So sit back and relax. Get ready to enjoy the show. And the show starts right now. And yeah, them the people that wasn't coming, but the income tax came. <laughs> they bought them tickets today. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> Damn check. It's going down. <laughs> going to get an outfit, a haircut, bag of <laughs> It's going down. Because you know we work the hell out of income tax check, don't we? We have plans for that check. I'm going to get my roof fixed, a car, some rims, a tooth. A <laughs> I'm breaking up with you. Pay off all my utilities. You can't do all <laughs> with one damn check. You can't get a roof and a tooth with 1500 You can't. <laughs> All right, once again, welcome back to Red Vision TV, man. We're here at the Beaumont Civic Center, man. It's on and popping. Of course, you know, your big homies in here, man. Uh, the Royal Company Tour is going down. We got some more on stage right now. My man Damon Williams just got off stage. What's yeah, up, man? Friend. How you doing? How you feel, Red? I'm pretty uh, good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome glad to, the to be show. on Red TV. How about that? <laughs> That's a good thing. That's yeah. a good thing. Now, kind of tell us about your, your uh, comedic style. I know you... Oh, uh, uh, you've been around for a while. Yeah, so I've been doing it for, since the Comic View days, you right. know, and then it's good to come to the South and Texas. They oh, always yeah. support. Uh, but definitely tonight was a good crowd, big mm -hmm. audience, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then this tour is sweeping, man. Everybody right. around the country doing the thing with Bruce, Bruce DL, and, mm -hmm. and some more. I'm, I'm honored to be amongst them, you exactly, know what I mean? So exactly. it's kind of like a coming out party mm -hmm. for myself. So so kind of describe your, your, your style of, of comedy. Uh, funny. <laughs> uh, no, but it's all over the place. It could be current events. It could mm -hmm. be topical. It could be personal to mm -hmm. my own life. You know, some of the stuff I talked about was my life. Right. But it also depends on the audience. Like I do college shows, that's mm -hmm. one thing you're gonna talk about the okay. hip hop and okay. things of that nature. Then if I do corporate, I'm gonna mm -hmm. talk about politics. So mm -hmm. I try to be versatile and flexible so I can get that check wherever they offer. <laughs> exactly. That, yes, that's sir. the most important thing, that check. It is. Gotta well not really actually I enjoy what I do. Right, exactly. And I enjoy what it does for people. Right. Then I enjoy the check. Then you enjoy the check. Yes. That, that, in, in that order. I feel like I should get paid <laughs> after I do that. Provide a service. It's you a went, ministry of laughter. Well you should, you should as well. Yeah. You should. I look like a crooked pizza right now, don't I? <laughs> okay, now, now tell us how you first started. When or when did you first start? Uh, just on my 18th year of doing stand-up. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But, you know, somebody dared me to try the typical story. Right. Go to open mic. Do on stage. Said I wouldn't do it, but they didn't know the day before I had practiced already. So right. I went up and did pretty well. And then, like, opportunities came real right. fast because, like, in 93, 92, that's when Def Jam was hot. So it was a lot of places mm -hmm. for us to work. Right. You know, yeah. So now it's a little different. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of different, how um, how different is comedy now than it was back then? Well, just the opportunities, like, for television. Now the only really, real vehicle comics have was Who's Got Jokes, and that's off the air now. Right. Uh, Martin Lawrence did his thing with the First Amendment stand-up, exactly. then established comics can, can sell their uh, specials to Showtime. They're starting to look at a lot of black comedy. Right. So that's doing good. Matter of fact, yeah. tell the viewers out there how they can get in touch with you, Twitter, Facebook, Of course, the Twitter, uh, Damon William, no mm -hmm. S, right. and, and no Wayans. All right. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Facebook, my, my full name, Damon Williams. Mm -hmm. Everything has Damon Williams Comedy as the URL. And um, right. Right. Or you could just holler at your boy when you see me walking down the street right. through your airport, wherever I be. Man, I appreciate you coming through, man. Indeed. Red Vision TV, thank you so very yes, much. Y'all be safe on the tour. Another tours uh, doing real good right here in Beaumont tonight. It's, the, it's a packed house in yes, there. Yes, it is. And you did good. You killed it on stage. So appreciate I just appreciate it. you coming and uh, grace the screen. Thank well, you thank so you. much. Thank you. He's DJing and hosting yeah. and doing yeah. so. You better get your I'm doing back everything. Back. Can I'm I say everything. ass? You can say get ass. Get your ass back over there by the, the table before I'm, she come I'm off. No. Ready to go over there by <laughs> the we having a ball. Thanks for Thank you so much. Take a break. Be right back. My man Damon Williams right here. It is on and popping. We're all coming to a Beaumont Civic Center. Yeah, be back. I'm about to say something to you, be true, but you want to get them back, but you can't because it's true. I went to buy me a muscle shirt, you know, the real tight one, right? You know how the Asian people say it, you know, things. So I walked in, I saw one of the muscle shirts. She said, what size you want? I said, give me an extra large, I want it real tight. 
She turned around, looked at me, she said, for you? I said, yeah. She said, oh, no. You're trying to check blood pressure? What can you say behind that? You know what I'm saying? Like we down here getting gas. People coming up to me, taking pictures, asking for autograph. Trucker walking from nowhere, belt buckle this big. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I said, I don't mean to run up on you, but I see people taking pictures and asking for autograph. And I told my partner, I was like, God damn it, he got to be somebody. I said, you don't know who I am? He said, no. So when they tell me that, I tell him anything. I said, shit, I'm a stripper. He said, you What you stripping, cars and trucks? Cause I know damn well you ain't taking them clothes off, boy. What can you say behind that? You know what I'm saying?